of the Caribbean village. We stayed here. It's our first time here, so we stayed here. Keep things simple. And it's, it's nicely located. Very family friendly. We actually like the pools a lot here. This area I haven't actually seen used yet. I think maybe they set up like vendor shopping there. But there's a boutique little store here. This was by far the pool that we spent the most time at. I had a lot of volleyball games and just fun stuff in general. Very family friendly. is Bella Napoli. The pizzas here are delicious and it's really really awesome um, to have. They 
normally are open for lunch pretty long hours until about 5, I think. And you place your order for pizza. You can go do something else because normally it takes quite a bit of time to make. Like maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour because um, it is so popular. And then you can come back, pick up your pizza. They write your name. I mean, not your name, sorry. They write your um, room number on a box. That way you can see from a distance if your pizza is ready or not. That little area I just showed you was an adult only hot tub. But in the evenings they set up dinners, um, like private events. And it's really pretty right over here for sunset time. Same with these little gazebo areas. Sometimes they're open, no private events taking place, which is great because you can come take a seat and watch the sunset or just enjoy the views. And then other times there's private events taking place. These are where I'm gonna stay next time. The Salt Key Villas. They look amazing. You can see the ocean from them. They're in perfect spot. 
I mean, they're all the way at the end of the property, but I think they're great because, especially if you have younger kids, you can um, maybe put nap time and keep your baby monitor on and then be still hanging out in this awesome pool over here. I've heard a lot of families been doing, they've, they've been doing that. This is all still part of the Caribbean village. These chairs get taken up really early in the morning. Waterfalls come down here. I mean, I'm surprised there's not towels on these chairs yet. The cabanas you have to rent. They give you um, an ice chest fully stocked. And they'll, they'll deliver food. Deliver food and um, you're in the shade all day long, which there's a lack of shade for sure. This is in between the Caribbean village and the Italian village. And this is Schooner's. It's delicious. Breakfast has been good. Haven't eaten lunch yet, but dinner was excellent as well. They play live music on this little stage right here. the Italian village. This is probably the busiest village. Uh, most action going on at the pool bar. In the pools in general, they do uh, like trivia games and stuff and the music is, is great. They pull these little water trampolines out um, and they actually cost money for, your, to you to, for you to go on. So don't think that they're part of the resort. The water trampolines and the water sports are not part of the resort. They have kayaks and stuff, um, but the tubing, trampolines, those aren't and hair braiding lots of hair braiding we're entering the key west village now this little this little path is really cool because it connects a lot you have these signs everywhere so that you know where you're going we'll go to the key west in a second but let's continue on with Italian Village for now. That way you get to see it. All right, so still at the Italian Village. You have Barefoot by the Sea.
There's a bar over there in the distance happening at night time. Cricketers, a little pub where you can play pool. Um, I haven't eaten there, but you can play pool inside and it's very, uh, you know, the theme is neat. Mario's is this place in the middle. They do Italian buffet on some nights and then they do um, sit down on other nights. tomorrow's the Key West Village. They have these signs everywhere that show you what the day is, what they're going to do in mostly the evening. So you can kind of plan for it. And this port. You can see they have these little walk-up villas right off the path that connects straight down that way is the beach. Bayside restaurant and the Sky Rooftop restaurant. This is really nice at dinner time and breakfast.
As you can see, these are the Key West Villas right in front of me. So they are literally right on the beach. This is a common area pool right here. But you can see these villas, they have their own space. Own area, own punch pool. They're not super private, so they're kind of like right next to each other. This goes a little bit more private. This is the end of the property. So, as you can see, if you want really private Key West villas, you're going to want to go towards the end. So, this one, for instance, is East Village 6612. Very close to the end. I mean, you're going to have a long walk everywhere, but you have your own plunge pool. You have a restaurant right here. Actually, you have multiple restaurants in the Key West Village. This is Bayside Restaurant on the bottom. And then you have the Sky, Sky Restaurant at the top. The best views, I think, are from the Sky Restaurant at the top. There's more Key West Villas right here. So this is 6515. But these aren't as private because this is like a super busy walkway. That's the Xbox Lounge. This is the, one of the entrances to the water park. It's kind of just like a big circle. So you got these awesome slides. And they connect to Bobby D's. This gets really crowded in the evening because the ice cream's really good. The kids area. We have like burgers and stuff. Burgers, fries, and hot dogs, American food. Right next to the kids' club. Um, so where the kids, um, sidebar is the medium club. The kids' bar is over there. This is the pool right next to the kids' slide. So this is the cavern. That's my crazy 
baby mom. Um, say hi. It's very sensitive to the water feeding. Uh, it's like a waterfall almost. All of these chairs would be taken by like 10 a.m. So get down here early if you want a spot. Curls and swirls, ice cream, shakes. This is a little splash pad. This is the Mac Daddy of Cheese, Mr. Mac food truck. Um, to be honest, I've had a few things here. It's not as good as I was hoping, but it still does the trick. I'd order the regular mac and cheese. Y'all get yeah, buffalo, American. American pulled pork. Part of the Lazy River, Surf Rider. This is the French village pool. This is a really nice pool, but it's just, it's kind of far away from everything. Except for the water park. You're super close to the water park. There's the entrance right there. And the live entertainment at night.
Here we are, Caribbean village. The ropes. We're in room 323. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple, but there's a bathtub. Have the mini fridge. They will stock this with your custom alcohol request. Beer, wine, liquor. Oh. <laughs> okay. Got lots of storage. Here are, these are two queen beds, but I'm pretty sure they're double beds. But this also converts to a pull-out couch, which is kind of cool. Seating area. We're in a very simple room category. We're not here very long, so. Actually, we can kind of see the ocean way in the distance. It's very clear. Right. So that's kind of cool. Uh, a there's also a putt putt. Putt putt area small. right there. So I just wanted to make note that we ordered wine from Oh. from the stocking people and they gave us a full bottle full bottle of red full bottle of wine of white and then beer by request yes by request so that's really neat 